Hey, what is up guys? Alex here from Technoclass.com coming to you with a uh, quick sort of unboxing and a quick uh, first impressions of Oreshika Tainted Bloodlines for the PlayStation Vita. This is a Japanese RPG where you keep dying, your clan keeps dying. So as you can see, in the Heian era, Abe no Seime and Omyoji place two curses on a clan, causing it to face death, procreate, and pass on its powers to its descendants. My descendants. Step over my dead body to take down our arch enemy, Seimei. So, as you can see, there's Divine Union, there's Battle. It's a one-player game, but there are multiplayer capabilities. Uh, and it's PlayStation Vita TV compatible, so that's nice. So, as you can see, the voices are in Japanese, the subtitles are in English, and over all that good stuff. So, this is the actual package right here. This is priced at 1,100 95 pesos as you can see it says you get an initial premium inside you open the box or you open the case and as you can see we have some paperwork right here this is the initial premium i covered up the code uh you're getting kiri no mashu and tonkararin as a initial purchase premium the rare gods uh here's a uh, instruction how to take screenshots and a bunch of instructions how to remove the thing uh the game from the case and this is the game itself not a lot of things in here this is not a collector's edition or anything and that is the game itself we'll just pop it out like that and there you go so we are gonna check this out this game out on the vita right now we'll see you guys in just a bit All right, guys, we're back, and we are obviously playing Oreshika Tainted Bloodlines. Uh, this is a Japanese RPG, if I, uh, like I said before. And these are some of the anime cutscenes you should be expecting uh, while playing the game. This is, of course, uh, the game intro, uh, and shows you a little bit of the characters, a little bit, uh, because uh, it's interesting, because uh, the only permanent people in this game are the gods, because all of your dudes will die eventually. Uh, here's a nice anime intro, like I said. Uh, you can see, the, the, when, you play, when you start the game, you can also see a very lengthy cutscene uh, in anime form. That's really, really nice. So we're just gonna load my game right here. Her name is Kochin. Kochin, uh, she's a weasel turns, turned into a human-ish person and she helps you out with your quest because she can live she can definitely outlive any of your um any of your guys so i apparently i have messages all right so uh here is sort of the main menu of the game all right so perfect we are going to perform a right so before we per perform that right we're going to show you a little bit of what um the the menus are about you know so you can uh, typically, you change your weapons and stuff like that. You go to your town, you develop your town, uh, you get your armor shop, your entertainment district for some reason. You can also get shrines. So as you can see, we have a uh, pretty lady as our shrine sort of maiden. So if you want to honor a different gods, you can see these are the different gods. These are the ones you uh, make a divine union with. So we're just going to back out of that. Uh, you can invest in uh, other shops right here and do that stuff um i believe contact this is for multiplayer and what else we got you, you, if you rest you waste a month all right so this is the, the right of divine union oh my god what so one of the one of our girls in the clan is mating with a guy it looks like god it's a male god I forgot this uh, this girl's name. I gave her the name, but whatever. So no funny business here. No naked anime girls here. Just this uh, sort of a simple uh, cutscene that you know shows you the right of divine union. So you can you have a bunch of classes here. They they change uh, the. I've never had a martial artist, I think, but they're very very specific in terms of targeting uh, of course let's get a dancer anyways yes items and then leave us here so we can keep the man pony snaggy and go with this so if you leave it to Cochin she will buy all your items and stuff which is kind of cool where are we going find the flame essence destination garden of perfection there we go so you enter into these uh, labyrinths to to kill some of the um, the uh, monsters 
The thing is, the main part of this game, the, well, this, this main combat part of this game, there is a time limit. Uh, time limit to the... Oh, there we go, let's get into a fight. And there's a bit of a roulette on what you'll get. I got a Tomb Crusher, that's a nice item right there. And these are some of the suggested moves for that character. Uh, if you don't do this, they will eventually hate you. <laughs> so usually it's not wise to, um, to let them decide for themselves. Um, also, if you kill the leader already, uh, immediately, you will skip the entire fight sequence and all that good stuff. There we go. Let's do Electrical Storm joint on everybody. There we go. Electrical Storm joint. Number three, Electrical Storm. Of course, if you do that, they will be able to attack you. All right. Number four, Electrical Storm. It'll give you eight times the damage, which is pretty cool. All right. The thing that sort of the game is uh, interesting enough. The art style is very, very nice, especially on the uh, Vita. I suppose the the thing that is um, something people will not like is the characters. Oh. The characters can be considered as you know a little bit cookie cutter, because for example, if you take a picture here. Here's our family, because they keep dying. the uh, The characters keep dying, so they they have to make you know uh, almost generic looking characters. With you know, it's not like uh, Final Fantasy where there are specific named characters you will remember throughout the entire game. Let's go in. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Oh, do battle, dudes. This is what we want. Oh, wow. Look at that guy. Cool. Oboro Yumeko. Let's get me a... Alright, whatever. Oh, we can definitely take him. <laughs> Doppelganger. Whoa! Okay. So there are frame skips here and there. Oh, we got him. Let's get like a screenshot. There you go. Nice. Ara ma, watashi no make. So if you bought uh, beat a uh, a a, a, a a god? This is one of the gods. If you beat the god three times, if you went go into the dungeon three times, you will be able to uh, write of divine union with that god later on. Okay, so the month has ended. You can, you can keep going, but it'll use up the other month. But what I'll do is just return home. So that's it for uh, Oreshika Tainted Bloodlines. That's a quick preview. Uh, nice graphics, nice sort of mechanical gameplay. I would want, um, if, if you are a traditionalist JRPG person, you might want, you know, named characters that stay on for the entire game. But this game is more like, I don't know, Rogue Legacy, if, you're, if you know that game. People die all the time. You have to replace them, you have to 
um, go into the right of divine union. Uh, so like I said before, pretty cute anime characters. The, some of the gods are pretty skimpy outfit wearing people. Uh, but you know, not no no hentai here, no no naked anime girls. But there you go, very nice uh, RPG for the PlayStation Vita. We are still gonna review this. We haven't finished the game yet. But that's it for me, Alex from Techno Class. I come here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.